Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Bill's RPGs and Crafts. Uh, today's video is going to be on clerics. Uh, a couple of feats you should take, a general rundown of how spells work, uh, the fact that they're probably the best uh, spellcasting class if built to the theme you want. My theme is usually battle. I want to do lots of battle, but I also want to heal the allies in dire situations. So we'll start the cleric at level one. You would pick two domains. Uh, so you pick a deity. If you have domains already in mind, you pick it based on your domains and find the deity that matches. Or you pick a deity that you like based on their portfolio and stuff. And then you'll find the domains out of their list that you enjoy. All the domains give you daily powers that you can use. Um, and it breaks down to about like three or four to seven times per day. Um, and these are free in addition to the spells you get. The second thing would be you get to channel. Uh, it's a D6 and every two levels it goes up a D6. It's a 30 foot radius. Uh, the channel is based off of your wisdom modifier. And that determines how many times per day you can do it as well as uh, the will save if you're using it to hurt undead. In addition to that, you could take any prepared spell you have per day and uh, other than your domain spells and sacrifice that to get a heal spell if you need to. And that comes back from the third edition D&D. Uh, third edition D&D, you didn't get the channel area. You just got the... Uh, Sacrifice a spell for a healing spell if you're a good cleric. Or if you're a neutral cleric that worships a good god, so on and so forth. Um, the first feat you should take is a uh, selective channel. And if you don't take it first, it should be taken by at least third level. The only reason is, is uh, say your group just downed a bunch of goblins, but you didn't finish them off. The healing area heals all living, so any of those goblins that aren't dead, dead, would be healed the same amount that you heal your party when you roll that six-sided dice. Also, if you end up working with an undead in the party, like my crazy group does, the you could when you're hurting undead, you could choose not to hurt that specific undead. Uh, crafting feats are usually good to take as a cleric. You can take brew potion at third level. You could also take craft wand uh, at fifth level. And that would allow you to make the those items at half their cost. So your party could effectively be better equipped than their funds would normally state. The spells you should take, summon monster is always a good one. Uh, look through and see what combat spells are good. If you have an extra feat because you're human at first level, I would recommend taking Scribe Scroll. Uh, allow you to, uh, in downtime, make a scroll, a divine scroll, of a spell that is useful but you don't want to have prepared. Say like uh, Detect Poison or Delay Poison or Remove Disease. Even uh, Raise Dead or True Resurrection as you get up there in level. Uh, those spells in reserve as a scroll you just carry on you and it doesn't affect your daily casting. The way I play a cleric, since you're proficient in medium armor and all shields but tower shield, I play them more of a mixture of a fighter wizardish character that can heal. Uh, my favorite's the fire domain because it gives you uh, fire spells, including fireball at third level casting. So, with that, my group, I told them to take fire resistant items as they were getting up in level because I was not going to discriminate on the areas that I hit. And I haven't. The barbarian, to his uh, annoyance, uh, with even though he has lots of hit points, has always been the subject of the uh, fireball because he's always the one surrounded by the enemies. The 
you also gain proficiency in your deity's weapon. So whatever deity you worship, you're proficient in that weapon and all simple weapons. Uh, spells that boost the effect of combat of the party is always good to take. And then a few damage dealing spells is what I always favor. The fire domain's been my main subjective one, but you get smite as an area effect, unlike a paladin smite from a direct attack. You get spells that deal with undead, like uh, daylight or searing light. And a good non, like a good spell non directed in combat, if you're dealing in a campaign with lots of undead, is. Uh, Hide from Undead, or Visibility to Undead, I don't remember what the name was, it's real low level. And Undead just can't see you, unless you attack them. If you have any questions, or any way you would play a Cleric different, put them in the comments below. Until we meet again.